So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. Right. Alright, what's good, Chad? We move. Rolling on a red field. We do this mission. Let's just ride through. Let's just ride there. We move. You know, riding around in this game is kind of nice. I like riding around. Feel about this road they want us to take him all right well what's here Solutions, reagents. Wonder what's cooking. Where's the scent go? Somebody was in a hurry. Right. What is this? Smells of. Huh. They were cooking fist tech. Took most of the equipment, only left what was broken. They're breaking bad, motherfuckers? Investigate around the hut for clues about the man who went out of the window. Footprints. Uneven. Someone ran through here. Hmm. Stopped here for a second. Hid, then ran on. Who's he running from?
Scar on his forehead. Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so a close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like. Crossbow bolt and footprints deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Right. Heavy armor. Heavy armor. We gotta fight again. One more. Are they dead too? They dead too. Hoofprints leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. Are these the hoofprints? No, I don't want to fight. Damn drowners. Damn it. I got killed by drowners? No? Huh? Really? That's kind of dumb. Hoofprints leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. Yeah, we're able to avoid them. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shut up and fight. Not good. Smack him as much as you can. So best thing. Is that fist thing on, on the table? Oh. Next 
for the camp. Is a fallen king in the lab. Okay. Let's go investigate the laboratory. Move it. out here. What now? Damn. Got him. I wonder what's all this. Talk to a merchant. Will you buy everything from me? Will you buy everything from me? I serve the eternal fire. One or not, decorates us all. Mug like that. Won't get you a copper. You've mistaken me for someone else. You're the only one he has made a point. Leave him alone. And who might you be? Temple guard undercover. Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town then. You're making the mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't, I'll kill you. This man's not worth your efforts. His shop's drowning in debt. You're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. Don't even know why I bothered a bugger. My apologies. Fare thee well. I, uh, gotta go brush me teeth. Gotta <laughs> brush my teeth, huh? Go home, merchant. And try not to come around here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean, both, yes. Thank you, sir. 
Uh, that's it. I need a merch. What village are you from? Black Will I? Who's going to fold a witcher in this day and age? Open up. Merchant? Mm -hmm. What are you offering? Yes, sir. Make a lot of money instead of rune stones. Yeah, I kind of like that. Oh, books don't weigh anything. Okay, so we don't need these now books. Strange me, they won't buy it. Good to go. Let's get it. You. you can sell everything to this guy. I like his glass door. I like the glass door. So much more inventory now. We got so much more inventory now. It's crazy. It's crazy how much more inventory we got. Or inventory space, I should say. And we got a bunch now.
Can we negotiate our way out of this? What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. You listen, Vagrant. Don't know why you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. So, why are you still standing there? I need to smash your painting. Wondering what you got inside, because it reeks of fist tech to me. Mind if I have a look, brethren? Aye, we'd mind. Very much so. Enough of these games. I'm counting to three, and you're gonna be gone when I'm done. Got it? One, two... Got a better idea. You're all gonna count to a hundred. Got it? Three, four, five, six. Great start. Now step aside. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, ten, ten. Give me twenty, idiot. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, oh, good lord, good lord, good lord. Alright, what are we saying? 31, 32, what are we? 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 39. That's a bunch of Who are you? Bloody hell! Who the devil are you? I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. You shouldn't be in here. And Knights of the Flaming Rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. So, we shouldn't. We're supposed to defend the downtrodden, spread faith in the eternal fire. But Radovid <laughs> tricked us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry, he disbanded us. Took our lands, confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. They were imprisoned or exiled. We're but a handful who still wear the colors. And we must find a new place in this world. Honestly, couldn't give a shit about your grief. Not the tiniest, runniest, greenest little shit in the world. You persecuted others, destroyed them. Now you've met with that same fate. So you got exactly what you deserved. A witcher moralist. Amusing, but... Feel I've met you somewhere before. I know. You're Geralt of Rivia, Jack to Aldersburg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our downfall. You were the beginning. A cursed mutant. Draw your blade! No need to yell. Just ask politely. Oh, we fight, huh?
Witcher. What did I get him? Nothing too crazy. My person ain't with everybody. Diamond. More attack power, I like that, I like that. Axis on intensity, I don't need that shit. Go to the woman to get your reward. Go to the woman to get your reward. Alright. We can do that. We can do that. Succeed, puss peepers. I knew it. Go on, out with it. Who was the bastard? Bastards. Brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What do you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. No, just killed them. Oh, so handsome and so boring. Here, puss peeps. Your gold ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. Let's do a main mission. Let's go talk to old gear. Oh, he's right here. Erin's gonna turn and mix from time to time. Cheers. I'm stuffed to the rafters. Oh, I thought that was what him. Are you doing? Wait. Overgrown wings, you see. Have right. you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot witches are sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Of his hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? 
Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Bersotti's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. Enjoy. Fucking nothing like a good clan of mates. Alright. Auction house. Private cleaner. Iron. Um, what? This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Brasodi? Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Make an exception. That's the smart thing to do. Threats don't scare me. I've sworn to serve Redania till death do us part, and I'll keep my oath with a song on my lips. Careful, bugger means it. God, eh? Redenia, truly fecunda nubili. Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. Right, What's I look dead if he's there. Corporal Batslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I... But I've... I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought no. Fuck your orders. Now, stand to attention and shut your giggy. Fuck your orders. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sut it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Right. <laughs> Appreciate the help. Just note. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. Hey. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh. Might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little a keep his soul. But Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Egg, white gold, and mother of pearl with topaz incense. Geralt! You thought of buying real estate? Could get to attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimmy. What about in Kaviri Mark? Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimmy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> oh, smell it, Geralt. That's the center coin. Meet the prince? Hell no. 
Hell no. I'm ready to go, baby. I'm ready to go. You know? Jimmy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Host Masodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! I knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? Mm-hmm. I thought I got it already. Oh my, this is lively. I have 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice and sold to the white-haired fellow. We got it. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe. Starry night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns. It's practically naught. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes at 20. Do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice, sold! Van Rose starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacle. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters. Once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. I won. Incredible. With the white haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once. Going twice? Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. I bought everything. I bought everything. Oh, Geralt. Look! Horst Masudi. Come on, before some other cocksucker's steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Right. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia. Who comes uninvited. But you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place for the local elite. I needn't tell you. An itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. <laughs> Got the you distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it is. What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. 
These are voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. What a dickhead. Your swords, master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm -hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Oh, Wolf Pop's got teeth! Another one. Whoop him, lads. Mistake. That's fun. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosodi's house alone. Hmm. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Like you. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. Hold on. Oh yeah, I like that. To find a, need to find a merchant. There's no merchant in Oxford. Find a merchant right now. You don't need to find a merchant. I say unto you, lecherous heart. But out, what's this one want? A good bruising looks like. Never fight a witcher. Here we go. Huh. Not a 
was rather efficient. I've spoken to you before. Know what you got to say? I saved your Yo, life. Look at the glasses. Love it, man. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We. My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not? Hmm. Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. Come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, like that. what exactly is yours? I have a plan. I was here working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. Before we go any further, you even know what Max Persodi's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Are you willing to help with the heist or not? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime has been committed? Not organize a heist. I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door. Windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar. Crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Looks bleak to me. Tower walls smooth as glass. Don't know about you, but I can't scale that enough. And I've not asked you to. Let me finish. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, but a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh... Prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? Aye. Well, that's among the details, which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition no one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. <laughs> Precisely why my favorites have line gallo. A circus artist no better as the Irving. Just now performing with a troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Their specialities, rhythmic gymnastics. Time for walking. Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, 
books. I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A half -wing. Beef Ed. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked a gold-plated cop from the roof of the town hall in Novograd. So, the half man. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Novograd gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently. Wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novograd to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Vault door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Olmus. My plane turned us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. As far as I know, his troops made camp east of Oxenfurt on the right bank of the Puntar. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. Fine. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldier's nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, let's say. Wouldn't want to raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down, and sideways. All together. I like the heist idea. Ocean, Ocean's Eleven here. Ocean's Eleven here. I think this is the end of the episode.